and I'll pick one, and then you pick one. All right. That way we can't tie. Dun, da, da, dun. Paper. Oh, you got me. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm ready when you are. Sweet. Well, it has to be Aang on there. That's what I thought it was, but Aang doesn't have breasts. Not that I was aware of. Breast? Oh, I didn't even notice that. Could be Korra. There we go. Korra turns into a monk. Actually makes sense. I will keep it. Oh, well, I'll, well, no. Yeah, I'll stay with it. Alright. 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 And put your answer. Alright. 18. Blade mm -hmm. cover scout. Faster. Oh, little hex Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Now you're worrying me. Okay. Oh, I hope this is that, uh. What is it? Hero? Hero? Uh. I'm trying to think of the name of it. The Strive one that. You turn all your creatures into four forward flyers. No, I wish. Like, actually, this is a standard uh, J Jeskai deck that I'm in the process of working on. All right, fair so enough. We'll figure out how it goes over the day. Hasn't been going too well against modern, but yeah. um, that is it for me, sir. Well, let me know later, and I'll I'll show you a, a list. I can't. I think it's called Time of No, not Time of Need. Hour of Need. Something. It's a Strive card that. Um, you pay one extra to. Well, oh, let me let me let me play the game. Take my turn, and then we'll get to it. Sixteen. Ethereal armor. Oh, so it's plus one plus one for each enchantment I control, and it gives first strike. Okay. So it's a two-two. No, it's hexproof, right? It does have hexproof. And now it's a 5-3. Uh, good old Rancor. Oh, wow. And then I'll swing at you for 5. Uh, I will take it. Alright. I'll eat a 15 and then I'll pass the turn. It's a... It's an instant. It has stride. It's, I think, one extra for every uh, every other creature. Okay, one more? Yeah, that you do. And then you just turn all your creatures into four fours and kill me on the swing. Oh, I like that. Actually, that's not pretty much. Okay, white. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's racist. Oh. So we're going to play both. Okay. Right. And it is your turn. I'm not messing with that right now. <laughs> Hey, you know, Okay. It's a 7 5. Wow. I wouldn't be okay with that. Then you auto win on one card. One strong creature. It's an 11 9. <laughs> yeah. Um, combat? Okay. Swing. 11. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. Can I actually defend myself at all against that? Well, you can block it. Okay, I'm just making sure. Uh, yeah, so it's Hexproof, First Strike, Trample, Vigilance, Lifeline. <laughs> I'll just take it. There's no point in sacrificing a creature for something's not going to matter. You'll go to five, and I'll go to, say I was at 16, so I'll go to 27. Wow. Yeah, this deck is dumb. I'll admit. And then pass the turn. Okay. Exactly. It must be. 
You ready? Dragon fodder? Mm hmm. Tokens, yes? Yeah. yeah, hopefully. It will prevail, I doubt it. Maybe. Oh, well, yes, that is. <laughs> Tokens. Right. Red. Dragon fodder. Okay. Nice. I see. I see what we're up to. The idea is to make a bunch of tokens mm -hmm. and then use ascendancy to make them all palace and strong, hopefully. And once you get enough mana, you never run out of tokens. Yeah, that's the idea, hopefully, but you just gotta get that point. Which one looks most like a goblin to you? Probably that thing, I had to guess. There you go. Can I get another one? Oh, I'm, I like seeing the scissors lizard. I mean, you can use those if you'd like. Oh, okay, well, of course. Whatever works. Whatever's good. Um, Spirit Link? It's not technically lifelink, it's whenever it deals damage I gain that much life, so it stacks with lifelink. Oh wow. Spirit Mantle, protection from creatures. Wow. Oh, ah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Well, even if I block, it's still gonna take all that damage because it's trample, right? So. Well, it actually can't block now, it has protection from creatures. So. Oh, that is awesome. So there's nothing I can do about that. All right. Sorry. Oh. No. Oh, uh, yeah, win's a win. Yeah, You'll be on the play? What was that? Uh, you're going first? Yeah, but I'm going to mulligan. Okay. Take it to seven? Yeah. Incorrect password entered five times. I just put it on the table. How did I... I don't know. Or pocket, I guess. Pocket day. Okay. Now while you're doing that, I'm going to look that card up so I can show you. It's running a, a modern deck that's mono blue, so the land base is cheap. Which is always appreciated, of course. I do like that. Yeah. Not having to spend a fortune to get into the format. Yeah. I guess this hand is everything I need to play, not everything I want. So I can't really complain, I guess. Yeah. Oh, we'll just do this back. There you go. I'll take it to five. Uh, just take it to six. Six again? Yeah. Six. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, dude. Oh, well, that's, yeah. a, that's a drag. That's a drag. Let's see how six does it for you. Well, that is good. Uh, Scry? Uh, you, you, well, I guess that I guess that hasn't been official yet. Has it? Oh, so at the Proto at Proto Origins, they did this. Oh no, no, you, you oh. keep it in your hand. Uh, in Proto Origins, they uh, they tried out something where you like if you mulligan to six or lower, you scry one when you to oh, okay. decrease the number of dead games. Oh, okay. you can do it if you want. Right. You mulligan. So scry in the one. And then uh, you decide to keep it on top or put it on the bottom, whichever one you want. Okay. There you go. Now you now you go. Oh, now. Yeah. Right. Put you twenty one. Sorry, sure, sure. Get one that matches the colors you're rocking. Right, my, my turn is simple. I'll go to 19 and run it back. Last turn. Yeah, this one pokes me a little bit. Are you done? Yeah, yeah, I'm done. 
Power of the... There, there it is. That's the one. I'll show you in just a second. Oh, right. You can be looking at how I take my turn, or however it is. It'll be your turn, sir. Check. Well, I'm getting the screen right here. Check that puppy out. Works really well with that battle mage stomach charge pose. Huh, yeah. Like that. I'll put a hyena umbra. So even for its tribe ability, if I have the, the mage on the field, yeah. it only just costs one blue, it doesn't cost the... It would also get one, yeah, so it would cost one in blue to cast, and then the strife would be just blue instead of one in blue. Huh. Yeah. So once you get enough mana, then I'll take another point. Uh, I'll give it a rancor, and then I'll swing at you for four. One, two, three, four. That's it. Last turn. <laughs> okay, so I, it's going to be one of those games again. Um, Daybreak Coronet. The Jesus card. <laughs> it's supposed to be with Jesus a little. Let me let my hair down and I'll cosplay as Daybreak Coronet. <laughs> um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll swim with the seven at you. I'll take it. Uh, I'll um, 24. Master? Here we are. And so do you give that thing flying? I uh, no. Or reach? I, I can't give it reach. In fact, I'm actually about to. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> you said that and the, the, the timing. But, um, you're, wait, you're, you're not at 1, right? I'm pretty sure you're not at 1. No, you went up to 22, yeah. and then you took no. 7, I think? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah. So it should be... Yeah, just 15. I don't, I don't think I hit you before then, did I? Let's, well, I did hit you once earlier. 1, 2, 3, 4. So you're at 11? See, it was... So it is 11. I think I just put 1 by accident. Oh, it happens. No worries. So, yeah, I think that's right. Okay. And then... We'll take a, another point of damage. There's a 2. To give it protection from creatures. Um, swing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, both me a two. Hit a thirty-one. All right. And then first turn. You can make me sacrifice a creature like Celestial Flare or something. Yeah, I was thinking. Man, that would be a blowout. <laughs> if I had a mana, which that's what I seem to have run into, oh, yeah. that's what I would play. Get rid of it. Wait, what are the modes on Jeskai? It's four damage to me, or what are the other two? The creature on top of its owner's library. Oh, it, it targets the creature, though. Oh. My creature has hexproof. It's, I know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's So how do you, for future references, because there's yeah. nothing I can do at this point, how do you get around the deck if it makes one creature 
huge. Almost, yeah, and then strike the bottoms. So, is there a way around it, yeah. or just blanket feel like a judgment or something like that? Usually, like if you're a combo deck, you try to outrace them. But in this case, if you had a card like Celestial Flare that makes me sacrifice, it doesn't target the creature. It just says sacrifice a creature. Well, since you only have one creature. Exactly. So then I get rid of this. All of these would go, and then Rancor would come back to my hand. But then that just leaves me with. Rancor and two cards. So wow. if I tried to rebuild from here, it would be Blade Cover, Hyena, Rancor, whatever's in here. Nothing. So this is much, much more manageable than whatever the heck is going on. <laughs> That's great, though. So do you run other creatures, or do you just really just oh, run that? I, I run other creatures, but for some reason, you're the only one that wanted to show up. I was going to say, I think that's an awfully big deck for. <laughs> These two are basically the same card. Actually, in this deck, they are the same. Uh, I don't have any blue, so that doesn't matter. Um, it's just a functional reprint. There is one kind of nifty little card that shows up every now and then. There's a Dryad Arbor. It's technically a forest, so I can fetch it up. So even if I have a hand that doesn't have any creatures, if I have a fetch land, I can still get the Dryad Arbor and swing. Creature? Yeah, it counts as a creature. That is silly. Ooh, what? Yeah. And then this one is... It's the best if it doesn't get disrupted, but unlike these two, this one can be targeted. So that's still pretty good, though. Considering, yeah. sure, I mean, if that's the only one flaw to it. That's right. It's one of those like if you if you happen to deal with it before, like before I can get anything on it, oh, it's not really a card. But these two, on the other hand, you can't deal with them, but they are a lot weaker than this one. So. Yeah. Hit or miss. Yeah. I mean, Give and take. That's pretty good, man. I've Thanks. Never gone against a deck like that before. I like that. I, I appreciate the chance to. Yeah. Give it a whirl. So this just needs more work. I built it yesterday. <laughs> Fair enough. And it needs more stuff. I need another ascendancy, a couple other things. All right.